just want to show you guys what we're working our way through. It's quite deep. It's hard to walk on. Not as easy as you would think to forage your way across the world without following a trail that some other human being has made. Quite beautiful. Also quite challenging. And the earth, I mean, you just sink. I want to show you guys. Oh, watch my foot sink. Watch my foot sink. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Man, it's been an awesome day. So, what did we just do? Went for a hellacious hard hike. Yes, we did. So, in Denali, they are a wilderness, a designated wilderness. And so, that means that you can hike off trail. And so, they have a program where you can sign up in advance. I think they do two days in advance. And they will take a knowledgeable ranger will guide you into the wilderness off of the tour off of the trail so we did that today and it was rugged we walked up a wash or down a wash i don't know we left going through the wash which was very rocky um and we thought that was really bad we all thought you know we kind of had lunch around 12 30 or whatever and we were like hey so going back let's go this way because we're tired of walking on rocks. Well, this way was through brush and grass. And you would think that it wasn't very deep. And then next thing you know, you were up to stuff up to here. And Dana, <laughs> she just vanished. That girl face plants, what I dubbed that. The woman that led us, her name was Emily, and she called it the Tundra Tackle. <laughs> But, I mean, it's like the earth would just vanish out from underneath you because it looks like it's right there. There's grass. There's shrubbery. If you step down, everything's going to be fine, right? And the shrubs are hidden in the grass. Yes. And that's why I'm fit, fat girl face planted because my foot got hung up on a stick and I just... I, nothing hurt. No, because it was really it was soft. soft. Um, it wasn't the rocks. Let's see, we saw bear poop with a little moose hoof in it. We saw a moose scapula. Um, let's see, what else did we do? I tore up my gaiters. I just got <laughs> hung up on a bush and tore them right off my Lost foot. part of her trekking pole. Yeah. Um, she was rough on equipment today. <laughs> I was. I was. <laughs> Um, now we had a great time. It was a something we wouldn't have done on our own. I don't think that we would have ventured off of the trail to that extent on our own, but because we had a guide with us, it gave us the confidence we needed to do it. And it's a neat program. It's something you don't get at all the other national parks like that. That's that's pretty cool. That off the trail business. It was an experience. It was. I don't know that I'd jump in there to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not in the next week. Um, I told her next time I say, let's do it. We should think twice. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. Our feet hurt. Our legs hurt. Our brains hurt. I mean, there was, you know, like when you hike a trail, you can look around and enjoy the scenery. There wasn't a lot of that. You're eyes were on the ground i mean you had to be paying attention to your surroundings too because i mentioned we found bear poop with a moose hoof in it so i mean you know we were hollering out aware of our surroundings and trying to keep our footing so there won't be a lot of footage from the hike every time and everything you see was times when i had to stop to run the camera because there was no walking and talking and running a camera at the same time i wouldn't be here to tell you about it <laughs> I'd have done more than face plant. <laughs> I will say that there was so much quartz. I had never seen so much quartz in one place. I mean, it's like every step you took, you were stepping on quartz. It was beautiful. It was really pretty. And then it rained on us a little bit. And that really brought out the colors in the rocks. And that made it even prettier. 
So, I mean, if you get out here, I would totally recommend you do it if you are physically able. But you do need to know that it is wilderness. Three miles. Three with miles. 700 feet of elevation gain. And it took us over like six hours, six and a half hours, I mean. <clears throat> so, yeah, it was fun, but it was exhausting. Matter of fact, I think Dana just wants me to end this video so she can go take <laughs> an old woman bed. cat nap. <laughs> go to bed. Everything hurts. <laughs> and we're having hot dogs for dinner. So, <laughs> we'll I'd see. I'd say if your physical limitations are worse than mine, don't do it. Oh, for sure. For sure. It, it was rugged, guys. Rugged. This stuff that you all see in this video that looks like it's, you know, six, seven, eight, nine inches tall more like you know four foot, <laughs> so. Six foot so. <laughs> so but it was definitely a good time we'll see you guys tomorrow when we're doing nothing i think nothing <laughs>